the St. Photius Orthodox Theological Seminary ordered this icon of St. Melania from the convent for St. Melanie's house for students. Before we paint an icon, we do read the life of the saint or various details about the saint. Um, I had actually read the life of St. Melania many years ago before we pa actually painted her 20 years ago in our church. But she was a very wealthy Roman woman who was second in wealth only to the emperor himself. She didn't want to um, get married and live in the world, but because her parents desired that she have an heir, she did marry a very pious man. She had two children who died when they were young. Then she and her husband, after that, dedicated their lives to God. They traveled the Byzantine Empire, spreading the wealth, giving it away to people. And finally, she founded a convent where she lived for many years. One of my favorite stories about her, she was trying to give away wealth to the monks in Egypt and all these ascetics, and she went up to this monk and he refused to accept any money from her. So she decided to be very interested in his dwelling, so she's walking around inside and she sees the sack with salt in it, so she puts money in the sack and when, then she quickly takes his blessing and leaves. So when they leave, he comes running after them with his money saying, I can't take this money, I have no use for it. So she said, well, if you can't take it, give it to the other monks. And he said, no other monks here need this money. So he took the money and threw it in the river and she continued on her way. So she had this um, even trouble getting rid of her wealth, but get it, gaining these um, insights to these very, very spiritual people as she was doing her travels. So we don't know exactly how Saint Melanie looks, but there are icons passed down from the time she died, and you follow, always follow a prototype. But the main thing when you're painting an icon, although features from the actual person can be put and are put into icons, the main thing you're following is their spiritual virtues, and that's what you're focusing on. The virtues of the saint, what type of lifestyle they led, what type of saint they were, and that leads you to how to paint them. The quote on her scroll comes from her life. It's from one of her teachings to her nuns. Well, it says, the soul is like a bride who is to adorn herself with the ornaments of the virtues. And she's going on to talk about the fasting is the ornament of the feet. And so just to adorn yourself, you don't just do fasting for glory's sake, you do it for the sake of gaining the virtues. So it's just not just like adorning the feet, you adorn your whole self with the virtues. It took about two weeks to paint this from the beginning of the preparation of the board to varnishing it. We use 23 karat gold in our icons and we do paint with acrylic paint. The pigments are the same pigments that were used in egg tempera paint and also the ancient technique of wax painting. It's still the same pigments that were used, even though some of them can now be chemically reproduced. When painting icons, you paint a base color, and then from that color you build up in layers to light. You never ever paint shadows and icons. The focus is on the light, which is the spiritual light. We always pray while painting icons, very often to the saint, so we leave the responsibility of how the icon will turn out into the saint's hands, and often to other saints too, and to Christ and the Theotokos. Icons are very important to Orthodox Christians because they are a window showing you the eternal. And having icons of Christ and the Theotokos and the saints gives you a visual connection to them to help you to pray to them. I've been painting icons for over 26 years. And as to having a hand for painting icons, it's just always something. It was my childhood dream to grow up and learn to paint icons. You don't need to have a background in painting or an art degree. 
In order to paint icons, what you do need is a blessing from your spiritual father or mother and having a guide in iconography. So you don't even need to start out with natural talent to know if you paint. If you start out with a blessing and just following the very strict rules of the iconography schools, you'll see if you can do it or not.